Hello, I'm Sylvain Bieler, Product Manager at Knowledge Insight. I will present the basics of Architect Designer. Together, we will see how to define a formal language of an architect project. For this demonstration, we start with an empty project. On the left, I can display the rules and filters window. It is only available in Architect Designer. OK, let's create our language. Let's say we will have some systems and our systems will contain uh, some components they will contain some objects of type data flow the checkbox makes it uh, a flow the components will also contain some data flow and finally the system will contain some other systems okay for now I can do nothing with objects I need to create a filter first we call it system architecture and in this system I will be able to add some objects first some systems because only systems can be under the root of the system and inside my system I can add a first system I can add some components too and uh, okay I can add another system and use data flow because I said data flow can be used by both systems and components. The look of the newly added object is very basic. I can modify the look of the systems from the properties window of the type with the more button. I will change the form and uh, the colors of the box but I could also modify the font and many other graphical properties. I will also change the icon of the system. It will appear in the objects tree and in the rules definitions. OK, then I will change the look of the components and of the data flows in a speed up mode. We have created our first type. Now we will see how filter works. The filters represent the types with checkboxes. The objects are kept if the checkbox is checked. I can add or remove the data flow the same with the system or with the components. Look, if I remove the component, the data flow inside the component is displayed. And I can re remove only the data flow from the systems, but keep the one from the components. OK, let's add some new types. A type stakeholder and a type requirement, a flow. So now, in the filters, the stakeholder and the requirement are not checked. I will also add the requirements to the system. It is still a flow. And get back to the filter's definition. You can see the requirements here. If I check the stakeholder, the stakeholder appears in the palette, so I can add a stakeholder. But I won't do this in this filter. I will add a new filter called Requirement Management and in this filter I will remove the components I don't need the components uh, in the Requirement Management view and also I will remove all the data flows with this feature OK, now I have the systems, the stakeholder and the requirements so I can add a stakeholder and two requirements because I said the stakeholder and the systems can have requirements. Okay, let's get back to the other system architecture view. I will demonstrate that the systems here are the same as the systems in the other view because filters are just filters. They apply on the same data. Now we'll add an attribute. For example, it is done here from this icon. You can add a new attribute, for example, a description of type memo. 
but there are many other types of attributes. The attribute is not directly visible. We need to check it, for example, in the system architecture view. We can check the attribute description. It is not visible in this diagram because we are in the resource management projection. But if I change, you can see the new icon and the word description. And it's available for all the systems. To edit the attribute, I can use the property window and uh, set a description for, for this object. It appears into the diagram. I can also set another attribute for, for this other object. It is another description. And it is also visible into the diagram. OK, I don't need the properties window anymore. And in fact, to finish, I will just set this filter as default. And it means that when I will reopen the project, it will open on this particular view. This presentation is over. We have created some types, some composition between the types, uh, one attribute and two filters. This meta model is basic but operational and it was created in just a few minutes. And you can modify it to deploy your process. Thank you for your attention. I hope it was helpful and I hope you will enjoy working with Architect Designer.